Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode we took care of Brock and uncovered a whole lot of cities. In this episode there's actually something we need to do at Mount Moon. And who do I want to raise on the way there? Let's go with, uh, you. Do, do, do. Yep, there are still trainers on this route so you're gonna have to fight quite a few times. Luckily though, hopefully with this emulator I won't have any issues. There's an ace tra trainer double battle on a pair of youngsters so let's take care of these youngsters first. Level 40 Golbat, level 40 Electrode, nice and simple. Then you gotta take care of these guys who are in the exact same positions as they were in the original game, except there's no trainer down that below. And by original game, I mean red, blue, and yellow. Level 42 Arbok, Raticade, and Parasect. Three Flame Throwers. Level 48 Fero and a level 42 Raticade, another two Flame Throwers. And I must be running out of power points for a Flame Thrower. Anyway. He was already close to level 48, he's up to level 49 now, and yep, I've used 7 flamethrowers so far, so this should be a... This next battle should be nice and interesting with that double battle here. There's some um, runes down here with meteorites. This is where you can change uh, Deoxys's form if you have one. Deoxys, and I tried using a... Uh, I don't care about my speech patterns right now. Anyway, yep, you can change his form in between these four if you want. I don't have Deoxys and I probably never will, so let me just deal with this... Ace double battle, so this should be fun. Ah, uh, here we go. Level 47 Electabuzz and level 47 Dugtrio. Actually not a tough fight if you take Dugtrio out right away, he won't use anything like Earthquake or Magnitude. The Electabuzz does no, um, Discharge, so you gotta be careful, that's a very good move for double battles. Anyway, we've got some Fire Breathers here, so that should be a fun one. Level 43 Magmar, 43 Camarok, 43 Weezing, and one full go-around of rollout took them all out. It took up to five because Weezing has good defense, but it took two rollouts to get Magmar, two rollouts to get Camera up, and then the last one for Weezing, so. We got a Hiker here, so I should probably switch Pokemon here. Uh, let's go with Braxis, why not? I mean, he's got Iron Tail, he can take out Rock types. I mean, it might take a little extra, but he can take them out. Bag is digging in my shoulders. Happens I like to take a break and have a battle. Well, I would just like to take a break when that happens. Alright, 39 Graveler, 44 Rhydon, who actually had Hammer Arm and uh, gave uh, Braxis quite a beating, and a level 45 Clefairy, who died to immediately to uh, one um, headbutt. Oh god, I can't speak today. Just watched the Mets lose, so that should be a. That, sh that was fun for me to do, yeah. Baseball's back, the Mets have lost. There's a fighting guy here who will not let you pass. He's all like, you shall not pass! Level 47 Polyrath, and I accidentally closed, it, closed my emulator in that fight, so I had to do all of that all over again, but got him to level 50 in that fight, so that's nice. So now I've only got two Pokemon to get up to level 50, and oh boy, I should probably not have Braxis out for this guy, because he looks like he knows a couple fighting type moves. So this should be fun. Level 39 Graveler, I think it was a 42 Primeape and a 42 Machoke. Eh, not that difficult all around. But there, we've got another hiker down here. There's freaking everywhere. Mount Moon ahead. Okay, that's fine. When you meet the unknown on a mountain road, all you want is peace, right? Why are you battling me then? Level 44 Magneton and level 44 Steelix. That Steelix took four earthquakes to take down. Luckily, though, the Magneton only took one, and this Fire Breather's gonna want a piece of us. Hopefully, he has something that does not have Levitate. Level 42 Weezing and 45 Macargo. Easy enough. I really need to heal because that Weezing used Explosion and damn near took out Braxis. Ugh, jeez. It was not a fun time right there. Anyway, just gotta heal up here and then put uh, Heracross in the front of my party. Those of you who've already played Heart Gold knows what's coming up next, or even the original games knows what's coming up next. Ugh, here we go. I've gotta stop hiccuping and burping on screen. It's highly unprofessional. Not to mention satisfying. <laughs> There we are, finally. We finally get to do this. This took forever. Welcome to Mount Moon. Well, that was fast. Hey, Butters, you're here in Kanto too? Yeah, of course. Some of the trainers are tough, which makes it easy to train my Pokemon. I know that you're strong. Can't help but challenge you. Okay. Seems like he's gotten a little bit more sure with his challenging. No more I'm gonna beat you into the ground, just I'm gonna challenge you now. He has a full team of six Pokemon now and leads off with his Sneasel! Level 46. Very fast. It probably, hopefully, does not know Aerial Ace. If it knows not Aerial Ace, I might be screwed here. Nope, Shadow Claw. 
which is a really good move for Sneasel. Sneasel excels with like critical hit type moves. Slash, that, Night Slash, that sort of stuff. Anyway, just use any fighting type move. Quite effective, low defense, easy win right there. Let's see, what he's probably gonna use his Psychic type next, if I remember. Nope, Golbat. Pretty smart move. Let me get double the money for this fight and send out Talos. <clears throat> Throat clogged up there for no reason. Anyway, he's probably going to do the same thing I'm going to do with my first move, Pulp of Us over 47. Well, it looks like a great mind and a not so great mind do think alike, so. Alright, Talos is confused. What will you do? Use Confuse Rice. Sweet. If I wanted to, Gyro Ball could probably do a decent chunk of damage here since Golbat's pretty fast, and I am most definitely not fast. Alright, let's see, what are you going to do? You, there's not much he can do, honestly, because all of his attacks, pretty much, I mean, the only attack he might know that could do neutral damage to me is Bite, and that still won't do a lot. Wow, that didn't do much. Let me try using something that I can do that's super effective. Oh, fantastic. Already out of the confusion, that's not fair. And I flinch. Let me guess, chain flinching. Yes, I am apparently chain flinching now. What the hell, game? Okay, this is getting fucking ridiculous. Finally out of the confusion. God damn. Make me flinch four times in a row, why don't you? That's the sort of thing that makes episodes go on ridiculously long. I might not even get to Misty in this episode now. Hurt itself in the confusion. Do that. Sorry about what just popped up on screen, it was just something trying to update, so I decided, you yeah, know, let's close it now. And please, thank you. Finally, that was annoying. If Golbat can survive a couple of attacks, it's actually a pretty good hazard trapper, but eh. For alligators, next up, and who else but Raiju will face for alligator. If I had something with energy ball, I might choose that, but no matter. My Palu will Palu you into the Paluing ground. This main Pokemon is level 50, and Quick Claw saved my ass yet again. Gotta get the most use of Thunder Wave as possible. I think I learned my next move in two levels, and Thunder Wave will be going bye bye. Or you could use Waterfall, that works too. Perfect move for, for Alligator, honestly. And how much damage will this do? Not that much, honestly. Enough for me to get off a couple Thunderbolts, hopefully. Come on. One hit KO, come on. Ah, oh, damn, he's probably gonna use an item now. Well, if he does use an item, I'll just use another waterfall. No, another waterfall, another thunderbolt. I can't talk today, apparently. It says, Jesus, Jesus, stop it! Oh, come the fuck on! Is my luck really that bad? Ugh. Every time I've recorded lately, either tons of chain flinches or just critical hits. Including Pokemon Emerald, I've been getting critical hit in there like crazy lately. Ugh, that was highly annoying. Anyway, he sends out his Alakazam, probably his actual most powerful Pokemon. Incredibly fast with really good special attack. Anyone who's ever played any of the original games knows Alakazam was always annoying to fight. Level 48. If it's anything like the other Alakazams, it'll probably know Psychic. Energy Ball, and... Well, this one will know Reflect. But it'll probably know, like, Psychic, Energy Ball, Focus Blast... And whatever. Because that seems to be the typical moveset for Alakazam. Wow, it survived the sh Wow, okay, I might need to be raising a... Wow! Coward! Of course, he would switch into an Electric type. Knowing I would use Shadow Ball. Of course, that's actually probably a really good move considering he's got pretty good uh, regular defense. That's actually why I'm not switching to Tauros here to use Earthquake, because he's got good defense. Even if he is quad weak, Reflect will still prevent me from one hit KOing him, so. Go to hell! And burn in it. Yeah, this episode's gonna either be a longer one or I'm just gonna have to completely. Uh, scrap having Misty in this because this battle has gone way too long because he's a dickbag. 
Who's my fastest Pokemon? Let's see, 81 speed, 124. No, I wanted to. Summary. 124 speed. Uh, Tauros is my fastest. Now let me go with Tauros. Hopefully, I can outspeed out because I am. Probably not going to happen, but. That's the one reason I regret giving up Scyther is that ridiculous speed of his. But yeah, same level, there's no way I'm gonna outspeed him. Oh yeah, level 48, he learned Thrash. I outspeed an Alakazam. Thank you, Tauros. Yeah, he learned Thrash at level 48, and I replaced Headbutt with it. More power. And his last Pokemon is Gengar. Who do I want to use for this? Why not a Klana? And we faced one Gengar already. Car um, Karen had it. This should be a fun one. And we've also fought another Gengar earlier. Anyway, let's just Shadow Ball the hell out of him, hopefully. He will curse himself and make things a lot easier for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love it. Uh, time to KO you. I mean, it will probably no Psychic, Shadow Ball, something else, and something besides Curse next time we face him, but... Either way, if you use this Curse, you're golden. Ah, oh, man. Thank you for being stupid about this. Guess it can't be helped. No, it can't. Training is still not good enough. Pokemon are so weak it makes me frustrated, but I can feel that they are getting better after each battle. Still too weak, you need to give them more training. So take them to Dragon's Den. That's your hint, that's where you're gonna go next to see him, but we're not gonna go there. What do you want, Wade? Batters, howdy, Wade, all kinds of berries, waiting around 31, okay. I mean, the only berry I want is like a citrus berry, but... Move him in there. We're going to head to Cerulean City's Pokemon Center, and then we're going to... Uh, I'll meet you guys at Lavender Town. See you guys then. Alright guys, we're back, and we're gonna head south and take care of a whole bunch of trainers on these bottom few routes. Including one right here, I think. Yep! 39 Coalfish. 39 Goldine, two of them, and I don't care to get his number. Anyway, I'm going to try to get as many of these trainers done in the last few minutes I have to record. Because I do want to keep this one a little bit of a shorter episode considering how long the last few ones have um, run, so I'll see you guys in a second. Level 44 Zatsu and 39 Noctowl. Not, honestly, not too tough. And there's one more trainer here. Level 39 Remoraid and level four, uh, 42 Octillery. So, oh jeez, I forgot there's a uh, couple here. And you know what, this, this team should be fine to take care of that. I really should be switching the amulet coin around constantly, but I keep forgetting to. Alright, let's take care of these guys and make their love look pathetic. Level 43 Sunflora and 43 Magmar, and one Earthquake took out mo uh, most of them, and then a Thrash took out the rest. Uh, I love having uh, Earthquake and Levitate in the same battle. Uh, one more. Level 42 Quagsire, 38 Tentacruel, and 39 uh, Coalfish, and why the hell are you listening to music on a radio while you're fishing? That scares fish away. Don't you know that the line picks up the vibrations of the music and that carries into the water? And vibrations carry very far in the water? Moron! Anyway, you can get here through um, Vermilion City by going this way after you take out Snorlax, but you don't have to do that. And uh, there is a house right here where you can get the Super Rod, I believe. Fishing Gurus, you know, seems like fishing, right on the king, blah, 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 blah. Just give me the damn Super Rod in case I ever want it. You can actually use this to fish up Dragonairs in Dragon's Den, and they get pretty good experience. Anyway, let's just continue onward. I believe this guy has an Electrode or something, I don't remember. Yeah, he's a guitarist, he's not a bird trainer. Level 42 Firo and a level 39 Spiro, and he was a bird trainer, the lying bastard. Anyway, now that that is done with, uh, my entire team is at level 50. It's time to start training Talos up a little bit, even though Talos will be great for an upcoming gym. Anyway, we got this guy to fight. Ugh. Two level 37 Gyarados and a level 40 Gyarados. Joy. Anyway, go over here. There's a uh, tree you can cut here for an item. I don't know what that is. And the original gold and silver, that was a protein, I think. Or was that just the original games? Anyway, I'm going to try to fight the last few of these trainers before I end the episode. Why is this guy here? He has three level 18 Magikarps. Go fuck himself. Seriously. He doesn't deserve to be a trainer. Anyway, this is Route 13, and there goes my timer, so let me just get that out of the way. I have to fight at least another few trainers in order to get Suicune to appear, and that's where I'll end the episode, so let's fight this guy. 
Uh, another bird trainer. Level 41 Taylo and a level 41 Firo. Not a bad team. And we got this person. What does she have to say to us? How about we bring out your Pokemon and mine for a battle? I know what else I want to bring out for a battle. God, what's wrong with me? Uh, there's a level 40 Spoink and a used Rest. Annoying. Anyway, there's another bird trainer here, which is really annoying. A level 42 Farfetch'd, and I'm starting to run out of both power points and HP for Bronze on here. Anyway, we have to defeat yet another one of these super ultra cute couples. And then after that, we have a maze to get through. Ah, oh, man. Here we go. Uh, level 41 Kadabra and 46 uh, Psyduck. Kind of an annoying fight, honestly. Anyway, finally we can get Talos the hell out of there. Talos was running out of power points for, like, everything. And then off the, on the off chance that there's a double battle. There we go. They gave me a lot of money, though. Anyway, I think that guy is a Pikachu trainer where he's got, like, 4,347 Pikachus. It's ridiculous. Anyway, continue there. There's another Poke fan. Okay, sneaks. Aww. Oh. Can you please move? Can you please move? Thank you! Aha! I'm trying to dodge all these guys because I just need to find Suicune already. Um, something tells me this is a bad idea, this is a bad idea. Oh god, that's a bad idea. Do I want to try it? Come on, turn! Turn. Got it! Alright, well, I have to fight this person and then the hiker, but then it looks like I am out of the woods. Level 41 Wismer, why is that not at least a loud red? Turn, 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 turn! Got it! Whew! Anyway... Oh, I thought this was Cameron the Photographer! God damn it! Here we go. Uh, level 42 Psyduck, and that's probably a bird trainer there, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here for this! Hi, Suicune! Keep running away, I'll find you! And who else but he is right behind. I'll be there first next time. Having fun, I'm trying to understand what Suicune is after. Honestly, I'd like to keep that information to myself. That's why I'm sharing it. It seems that Suicune prefers a hilly place near water, somewhere in north. I already know where that is. What's it? What's wrong? To be honest, I'd like to keep blah blah blah. I want to be honest, trainer for Suicune. Sharing clues seems Suicune hilly place somewhere north. Alright, anyway, that'll be the end of this episode, and then at the start of the next episode, we're gonna fight those other trainers that I skipped over, as well as all the ones down here. Then we'll get to Future City and we'll go up Cycling Road and fight all the trainers there and get the Celadon. That way we'll have all of these, like, bullshit trainers over and done with. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and as always, take care.